What really struck me about Jenny Felix is her positive attitude and that big, beautiful smile. She has been through so much since being diagnosed with invasive ductal carcinoma last year. And tonight, she is opening up about her breast cancer journey to share what she's learned along the way to help other women. It started with a swollen lymph node Jenny Felix noticed in her armpit. I did a self-check and um, went to the doctor just to have them confirm because I wasn't really sure if I was doing it right. Just days after she turned 39, a biopsy revealed she had stage two breast cancer. It was really surprising, um, but at the same time, something was telling me that this possibly could be positive, and I feel like I prepped myself really well to receive that call. A positive attitude that stuck with her as she juggled motherhood and cancer. My oldest is 11, and then I have a nine-year-old, seven-year-old, five-year-old, and baby girl is two. That was the difficult part, was just having so many children. My four boys were all into sports, all four of them, so adding breast cancer treatments onto just their sports schedule was really tough. She documented her journey on Facebook. Following five months of chemo at Mayo Clinic, Jenny had both breasts removed. I got an aesthetic flat closure, so I chose not to have reconstruction done. And then um, I also had my ovaries and tubes removed, which was recommended by my doctors. Then it was on to 25 rounds of radiation. And because Jenny's cancer was on the left side, it's in close proximity to the underlying heart. She's also extremely young, so we wanted to be very, very careful about sparing her, her heart and her lung. So for Jenny, we really pulled out all stops. That included using this innovative black box to help protect her heart and other organs. We used a technology called respiratory gating, which is a way that we can deliver the radiation therapy in timing with her respiratory cycle. The black box that was on my belly, it was connected to a lot of cameras that were around the radiation room. It would monitor when I would hold my breath. So when I held my breath, then that's when the radiation machine would go on. Um, and then when I breathed out, when I exhaled, the radiation machine would automatically stop. The treatment was a success. On her final round of radiation, the waiting room was packed full of her supporters. Go for it, <laughs> Jennifer Hill, who was part of her surgery team at Mayo and is also a breast cancer survivor, was there to cheer on Jenny. She literally is, is somebody that just is an empowerment and embodies the spirit of, of a fighter. And I look forward to seeing her grow and flourish and be healthy and, and spread the word that you know what, cancer didn't take her down. This is a disease that you can win and you can fight. It's a battle Jenny has courageously fought. I would consider her cancer free. Just lots of future uh, evaluations and managements and, and prayers just to um, keep following her in the future and hopefully she won't have a recurrence. Her prognosis is good and we're very hopeful for her. Jenny credits exercise with helping her get through the treatments along with a strong support network and the power of prayer. I feel like God handed me this for a reason. I think that God knows that I'm an oversharer and that I would overshare on Facebook about my journey, which I did. And since then, I've had almost 10 friends who have been diagnosed with breast cancer or other cancers after me this past year. Her message for women? Get mammograms. Don't be scared of getting it done. Don't be scared of the results that could possibly come from it because early detection is key. Early detection is key. And Jenny's doctor wants to remind women that if you feel something abnormal, get it checked out. If you don't get answers to your questions, get a second opinion. And new American College of Radiology guidelines now call for all women to have a breast cancer risk assessment by age 25 to determine if screening earlier than 40 is needed. Heather Crawford, First Coast News on your side.